Hi, today I'm making a video about all to all the boys I left, and it's gonna be about every single person I ever had a crush while making it. It was like a real roller coaster because I was like, damn, I am very much it'll get into it, but I always just love being in love. I think it's from so many movies, even before I was into K dramas, it was really with the Disney princesses, and always just have finding someone who would treat you nice. To all of the boys I love by Jasmine Solis, and that's like. So I am a hopeless romantic. I think being in love is probably one of the greatest things you could ever experience in your whole lifetime. Have I had a great run? No. I don't think it's very hard to be in love. What love is to me is like how you know you're in love with someone. You just protect them and care about their well-being so much that you would die for them. Like take a bullet. It's our kindergarten to second grade. This is what I could remember. There was this boy named Matthew. He, I think he was asthmatic, I have no idea, but <laughs> for some reason in my head I have him wheezing. He had brown hair, he was white, um, really white. When there, when he was nervous or like he seemed overwhelmed, he would turn really, his whole face would turn really red. And I don't think I ever told him I liked him, I just remember I liking him, I don't even know why I liked him. Uh, I think he was just a boy that probably talked to me and I was like, oh my god, you're my soulmate. Uh, third to sixth grade, and this is when kids started to be really rude for no goddamn reason. There's this boy named Manuel. He was short, like soccer. I think he's told me he was Venezuelan for some reason, because I was very culture shocked by it. I only thought there was Mexican. I am Mexican, so I thought that was the only thing there could be. Um, he was exes with my friend, and I liked him. And then she told me she got back together with him. After I told her I liked him, it was really weird, but I had no right. He had highlights in his hair, and I thought he was the coolest person ever. When you had your hair dyed in that time frame, you were like amazing. You were like, oh my god, you're so cool. But it, it looked like that, so I don't know what I thought that. Um, the crush continues till seventh grade. I didn't think about him all the other time because during the time I had other crushes on other people, but like I still thought he was attractive to me. You might be wondering why there's a picture of Bruno Mars. It's because I have this memory burned into my head. And he's like, oh, what's your favorite artist? Because I want to know more about him. And he was like, oh, I like Bruno Mars. And I was like, Gren he like Grenada. I was like, oh my god, I love Bruno Mars. Um, I did not like Bruno Mars. I didn't know who he was. And then I looked up his songs. Um, I really liked him a lot, but I, I don't think he was into me. I don't think I ever told him. It's just so, I can't remember anything. My mind is like, poof. This, this Frank is given that one, it was the greatest. He said he couldn't like someone as ugly as me. Um, I found that out, he, I overheard that when my friends told him and that's such a horrible move. So my friends at the time were like, they told him and I didn't want him to know. They're like, oh, Jasmine likes you. He's, then he said that and I overheard him because I was just a couple people away. And my heart was really shattered. I did stalk him a little bit before. I, I just wanted to know his classes. So I could be there and see him. And he would fall in love with me. And it would be like a little movie. But no. Um, his friend did like me. I don't think his name was Jaden. But he never ever ever said a word to me. And one day he just went up to me and just hugged me. And I was just like. But I did not know what to do. Looking back at this. Is when my um, confidence took a real dive. Since then, and going on with all my crushes, I didn't ever think I was pretty enough to like someone. So, and it's so stupid because like you don't have to be like. It's just middle school to seventh and eighth grade. Seventh grade, I had my first boyfriend. Um, his name was Edgar. Oh my god, the Edgar haircut. Ooh, I think he had that. I actually never met him. He was more um, an online boyfriend that we met through mutual friends. Cause like, oh, your friend's cute. Can we hook up? Not hook up, but like meet. Um, but I was telling my aunts like, cause they're so excited about having a boyfriend and stuff like that for the first time. And she told me we were break, we were kind of related. So I was like, I broke up with him cause we were sort of related. And I was like, I never, I just didn't, I didn't even want to tell him. Cause I don't know, I don't think he knew. So I just sent him a text and I said, I said, I'm breaking up with you. And he said, deadass, okay. I'm like, that is just such the middle school thing. Like, 
but it was nice for like finally a boy to give me attention and i think why i was just so drawn into like immediately going into a relationship is because he's like he said that i was pretty after feeling ugly it's what really sold it um middle school seventh to eighth grade this is when i thought i was in control but looking back at it i was just being used and the thing is i let it happen and i I don't want to say let it ha I let it happen, but I convinced myself that like oh, I was in control. So there's Alex and Eddie. Why I have these two together is they're the insulting duo. Um, they were eighth graders and I was in seventh grade. They were in my um, workshop class, and there was Eddie that was sitting in the front. Alex that was sitting second behind him. I would sit behind Alex and then there's another person we'll talk about him in the next slide named Lewis. So Alex would tease me with like would you be my Valentine? He would steal my phone. Um so I could always like look for him and text him like hey give me back my phone and he's like ha 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 I don't know. Um he always asked if I had a boyfriend. He said he liked my hair but then he would insult me a little bit too saying that he didn't like my hair. It was very weird. And I think of Alex, I was just like, I liked him. He was attractive to me, but there was definitely like a power. I know like you could say like, oh, he was just a year older than you, but there was such like a power difference in that relationship just because he had more experience dating than I did. And I was just so shy and gullible and want anybody to like me that he, and I think he knew that. I think he just like flirting with me just cause I, he knew I liked him. I think so. I think he knew I liked him. He also would say, oh, sit, sit on my lap. So you tell me. Um, then Eddie, he was, a, he, Eddie is the weird one. First thing before he would say hi to me is that he would say, you're ugly. Every time I saw him. Years later, he did tell me um, that he thought we were just friends and he was just joking. And that's how he joked. But like, I was hoping one day that he would not say it, but every day he did say it. But then again, in my psycho head, it's like, oh, maybe he's just teasing me because in shows they say that teasing the girl means they like them. And that is just a horrible way to look at it. But because I would fall in love very easily for anyone who was attractive, I did like him. Now we go on to Lewis. So Lewis liked soccer. I also think he would. I wrote, I think it was Venezuela. <laughs> uh, he was a sweat Venezuelan, I think. He never wore jeans, only fucking sweatpants or sweats, joggers, never jeans. I want to see him in jeans. I don't know, it's so weird, but like when you like someone, you just pick up on details like that. Um, he liked my best friend, but everybody liked my best friend and fucking saw because she was so fucking pretty and really popular. And I think I was just like the ugly duckling. duckling. Um, and then to the heavy stuff. We would play tag, but to tag each other, we it would be we would have to tag each other's butts to do it. And why I think that was a good idea, or why did I let it happen? It was for I think I did it for my chances of him liking me to be greater if I let him do it. And that was really dumb because just. I let somebody touch me in inappropriate ways just so I can maybe get a chance of liking me or hold like do it to another girl, which is hard. Um, this tag game sadly caused other uh, people in our grade to think it was okay to touch me also like that if I let some a boy do it and they one guy this Alan did it. And, and Mealy was like, N -n no. And then he never did it again because I made a big scene out of it. Um, that happens sometimes I like explode. And then the other person touched me and by that way, we would not talk about it. Then there was Angel Ray, my second boyfriend. I was a freshman and he was a sophomore. Um, we dated for a month, I think. Um, he tried to kiss me a lot. I think he just kissed my hair. Like, I just moved my face and he kissed my, um, ear. Because I wouldn't let him kiss me. 
cheated on me while we dated. Uh, horrible. He was the first guy to tell me he loved me and I told him it back but I didn't know what it meant so that's really cringy. It was nice to talk to somebody, that's pretty much it. And I think that's all I have for this video guys.